Hey, Colin Receiver here. Today is Thursday, January 10th. My wife is 40 weeks due today. So it's kind of an exciting day. No baby yet. Uh, and no, we don't know what the sex is either. Uh, but I had a couple quick thoughts I wanted to uh, shoot this quick video on my cell phone and uh, talk about. Um, I want to talk about today promoting your practice with free offers versus free services. And let me explain a little bit about what I'm talking about. Um, we see a lot of dentists that are using promotional offers on their marketing. A great way to bring in patients, a great way to uh, get new blood into your practice, new patients, uh, you know, make money. Um, the different kinds of offers we see, we see some dentists that are maybe offering a free consult or a free consult and x-ray. Um, and we see other dentists that are offering a $49 cleaning and exam or $99 whitening um, or you know $79 cleaning exam and x-rays, whatever it is. Um, and I often get asked, what do you think is the best kind of offer to pull in patients that appreciate you and appreciate the value that, that you, a dentist, has to offer. And my response is that, you know, think about the mentality of the patients you're trying to attract. If you are offering a end service, such as a cleaning or a whitening or uh, a, a, the service that patients are coming in thinking that they need, uh, you're going to attract people that are just looking for cheap. Uh, if you put a Groupon out there and you offer a $49 cleaning, you're going to attract people that have a dentist they like, possibly. Maybe they don't like their dentist. But you're going to attract people that are only coming to you because they want a $49 cleaning. Versus if you put an offer out there for a free consult or $1 exam and x-ray, uh, now you're putting an offer out there that somebody that's just looking for cheap is not going to come to you. Now, yeah, they see a $1 exam and x-ray, maybe they know they have a problem that they need to get fixed, but the exam and the x-ray is not what the patient wants. The patient wants the pain to go away or they want their teeth to be cleaned. And maybe they're teetering on the fence with making a decision to find a new dentist or making a decision to call their existing dentist. Maybe they're just looking for a reason to call somebody new or to call you. They see the $1 exam and x-ray and they pick up the phone and they call you because it's an offer they can't refuse. They get to come in, there's no risk. There's, you know, they're not gonna walk in the door and, and walk out with a $300 bill because they know it's only $1. I can get checked out, get my x-rays, and then I know what I need. And then I can go from there. Versus, uh, you know, what I said before is if, if you offer the service at a discounted price, now you're discounting what you do. You're discounting your services. You're going to attract people that are only looking for cheap services. And you're devaluing what you do. You know, if you do a cleaning for somebody at $49 and then they come back six months later or three months later if they have perio issues, and um, you know, now you tell them it's uh, $119 for uh, cleaning exam, x-rays, and oral cancer screening. How do you justify the price increase? Now you're arguing with them that, oh, well, they got the special offer before because they only came to you looking for cheap. Uh, so that's all my thoughts for, uh, for Thursday. So keep moving forward.